here is an interesting uh, phenomenon, right? ANC gives you a membership. Then ANC fires you. Then you go to court for ANC to expel you. Why did you expel me? That is exactly what happened to MK Party and uh, these people who were expelled by MK Party. So they go to court and say, listen, we have been expelled. We just want you to overturn the decision of being expelled. I like the lawyer. The lawyer argued and said, wait, when they arrived at MK Party, they did not have a member, their membership with them. They were given a membership by MK Party. So if the very same MK Party fires you, you should obey because you are at the mercy of a political party. Number two, you must understand the difference between being an, an, an independent candidate and a member of a political party. Two distinct things. You can't, being a member of a political party, tell your party, why are you dismissing me? You can't. You are a member of parliament because MK Party said so. If MK Party decides that you should not be a member of MK Party, MK Party has decided, and you cannot contest that. If EFF decides that from today, as of today, you will no longer represent us in parliament, you cannot contest that because it is the very same EFF that said to you, go to parliament. You can't contest that because you were brought to parliament by EFF. You know, I'm, probably I may not say it correctly. Let me allow the lawyer to say it herself. Here. Their membership was terminated on the 24th of June. How they came to be members of parliament or sworn in, as they state in their founding affidavit, milady, is an anomaly because it means that they arrived there without the membership uh, the jurisdictional fact that allows them to be a member of parliament to begin with did not exist. It did not exist at that stage. They were on the list. They were on the list, my lady. However, by that time, their membership of the political party had been terminated. And on the list, it was for that reason as well that on the 5th of July, a supplemented list A supplemented list was delivered on the 5th of July to the National Assembly. Those are attached by the applicants, uh, if I'm not mistaken. If I may just uh, have five seconds for this, my lady. It was attached in their review application. It appears from page 39 and I think to page 46. And in that list that's dated the 5th of July, it includes all of the applicants, milady, as members of the MK. However, they, their membership was either terminated or they had resigned from them. And again, the reasons for that are set out in the answering affidavit. The reasons for that have not been denied by the applicants. Milady, what we have is, and if it is so that the second and 10th respondents have indeed given authority for the launching of the application. We have applicants before your ladyship who are trying to retain benefits that they were not entitled to in the first place by the time that they were sworn in because their membership had already been terminated. For me, the court should just uh, struck off this thing. Well, we are waiting for the judgment. Judgment has been reserved, but it is just me sitting here and thinking to myself, the chances of <laughs> the, the chances of these people winning this, for me, they are very slim. Like it doesn't make sense even for them to win it if ever they they think they should win it. How do you win it when you are here because of the party, and the party says we don't want you anymore? You are telling the party that Mina, I'm undivorceable. You can't divorce. <laughs> 
That is exactly what these people are saying. They are saying you can't divorce us. Guys, Leon. Oh, you can't fire us. Why not? Why can't I fire you? Did you came with the membership here? No, we gave you the membership. It's like, okay, we'll talk about this. We'll talk about this. This is very interesting. Very, 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 very interesting. But before we can dive into this interesting thing, take a look at what you need to do here. If you are not yet subscribed, what are you waiting for? Come on, good people. Because to subscribe, it is free. To like the video, it is free. To comment in the comment section below, it is free of charge. To click the notification bell, it is free of charge. To share this video, it is free of charge. To watch this video until the end, it is free of charge. Also, good people, I mean, come on, to watch the ads, it's free of charge and that's how you financially contribute to this YouTube channel. Speaking about financial contribution to the channel, you can join, become a member of this YouTube channel from as little as 20 rand a month. You can also uh, use the super thanks party. In case you don't want to do that, guys, there is a way where you can use my media company banking details to donate to the channel. And you know what I'm saying? will bring you more and also guys want to buy more equipment so the power is in your hands please do the honorable thing as we proceed okay l l listen to this listen to this you <laughs> you get hired by a company by pick and pay shop price checkers spa oh, oh, whatever company any company you think of aha perfect example you yeah this is perfect you join car chips along the parrot uh you know what i'm saying sundowns and then they decide i hi we you know i think we've got a better player in this position let's rather buy that player instead of you i we're terminating your contract go then you go to court and say ah I want to be part of Sundowns. I want to be part of Carter Chiefs. I want to be part of Orlando Parrot. By fire, by force, they can't terminate me. <laughs> because I still... That is exactly what these people are saying. They are saying, we are unfireable. You can't fire us. You should not fire us. We should fire ourselves. In whose organization? Take a look at what their lawyer said. Here. Well, the, the founding affidavit says that there are. So, so, when so the affidavits, how, do, how are you asking the court to deal with the issue? You've got the founding affidavit that says we are members, and you've got the, uh, the answering affidavit which says that you're not. Well, what we do have is the answering affidavits in two different things. Mm -hmm. The answering affidavit, former President Zuma's answering affidavit, says two different things. He says, that there were never members of the MK party. And then he also says, I'm going to get to that, he also says that he used the powers, his powers to, to remove them. You cannot remove people that are not members of your party to begin with. So the, his own answering affidavit, in that respect, it, it, it makes up the case that the applicants require in regards to um, the local standard. It, I will get to that in more detail, but it does say, in fact, I mean, in the paragraph in my head, that uh, where, I, where I discuss the description of this honorable court, I do mention that, that's an electric, I mean, I've got no other way but to use strong language, um, the deception of that answering affidavit. He says, there were never members of my party, and the same papers, I got rid of them. Um, um, and on that basis, um, my lady, I, I think um, it's pretty clear that the answering affidavit does set up that um, the applicants were indeed um, members of the MK party without a replying affidavit to dispute that. And so please tell me, have you ever had a situation or encountered a situation where a person says, I am unfire? <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> and the, the thing is that it makes me laugh because how are you going to contest 
you being chased out of a political party. How do you contest that? Because it's not your own political party. You are not... In parliament... ANC has done that time and again. Uh, if they want to go to parliament, for instance, they will be going to parliament and look and... and, and because they are not an independent candidate. If they go to parliament, who are they going to be representing? ANC has done that in that they have fired some of their people. Right now, uh, okay, Zizigoto resigned. That will be a worse example. But even the resignation of Zizigoto, will be, he will be told, you know what, my man, resign. He can't do anything. The party has decided. He, in fact, with Zizogoto, perfect example. You will remember when after Zizogoto appeared in Parliament, I mean, sorry, in Palmerish Court. Do you remember that he actually, he actually, uh, he actually did that for a very sh a brief period of time, and that was it. Do you remember that? He did it for a very brief period of time. And then after that, um, no man, what am I saying? Sorry, guys. I'm trying to say, uh, I'm, I'm trying to say this thing, man, in the right way. When Zizi Gotwa went to Pambridge Court, after that, he resigned. Do you remember that? Do you remember that he was complaining about that? That means the resignation was not his choice. Aha, uh -huh. because he's not the ANC. If the organization decides, what is he going to do? Take a look at the lawyer your MK party uh, saying something here. Two of those letters were to the sixth and ninth respondents. That was the 23rd of June. Their membership was terminated. And a day afterwards, uh, 12 others were also terminated. And the grounds for that, milady, are also set out in the answering affidavit as to why their membership was terminated. Uh, I've also set that out in Heads of Arguments. That appears from paragraph 6. And I'll mention some of them. It was because the names that had been added to the candidate list were either improperly or irregularly included. And the submission of names was made without proper consultation and vetting. There was a mishandling of the party list by the person who was responsible for that, uh, and that was the previously acting Secretary General. Upon realizing this, that there was a mishandling of the party list, milady, um, he was then replaced with Ms. Dongubani. And that is how they discovered with internal investigations that there were a number of persons who, who weren't supposed to have been on the, uh, uh, the party list to begin with. And the rest of those persons are the applicants to this application. Okay, okay, okay. Let's proceed again. So, please tell me something. We have seen this movie playing time and again. People getting fired from their political party. I've never heard this ridiculous thing of people saying, Hi, Tina, we are unfireable. We therefore request to be reinstated. Why? Because uh, the manner and the way in which we were fired... Uh, we we don't want to like it, make it make sense to me because currently it doesn't make sense at all. It doesn't make sense at all. How 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 do you say MK Party does not have a right to fire you? Even if you didn't do anything, if MK Party says we are not happy with your performance, it ends there. They don't need, you don't need to steal. We are not happy with your performance, therefore one side. We, you, don't, you don't need to steal. But again, it gave clarity as to why other people got fired. Because right now, it has been about, oh, MK, Jacob Zuma fires people. He, 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 but it gave context as to why Jacob Zuma fired them. Now we understand. Now we'll talk about it. Uh, we'll elaborate as to why other people got, got fired. Now we got it. Well, now I understand. Because remember, I, I also criticized him and I said, I think now MK Party needs to tell us why. But now I understand.
Now I truly understand.